The only way we're going to make progress towards the 167 targets within the 17 Sustainable Development Goals is if we understand where we're making progress, where we're not making progress, and we communicate that effectively in the language that decision makers are using to create decisions. And when I'm saying decision makers, I'm not just talking about presidents and cabinet ministers. I'm talking about decisions that are being done every day at businesses around the world to both track their progress and to really receive credit for the good work that's being done in the private sector. iNaturalist is a social network where you can share your photos of plants and animals. And our global community, by sharing all of these observations, has generated, just as of yesterday, over 15 million records of biodiversity from all over the world. My first encountered or came across IAI in 2016, they actually funded my participation. I think it was a yeah, part funding of my participation in the Nitrogen School in Sao Paulo in 2016. We have to put together all the global data, environmental data, earth data, climate data, social data, economic data, and make available to every researcher in the world, and also to make it available more and more to society. With this uh, nitrogen project founded by the IAI, uh, my work there is focused on the social dimensions of nitrogen impacts. For that, I developed a conceptual framework to better understand the drivers, impacts and vulnerabilities concerned to nitrogen in Latin American countries. As the world is striving to achieve the uh, Sustainable Development Goals 2030, it's important that decision makers at all levels, government, politics, the public, interest groups, just the general everyday citizen have information that will be useful to help make informed decisions to address uh, development, sustainability, and climate change issues. I'm the executive director of the Belmont Forum Secretariat. It's a consortium of funders supporting transdisciplinary and transnational approaches to global change challenges. I think the private sector is a key stakeholder within our universe that is able to implement and innovate to be able to meet the sustainable future that we're trying to attain. So I look to the private sector to set the tone for the future. Making progress on other SDGs really depend on having healthy and vibrant ecosystems. So SDGs 2, 3, and 13 are all the kinds of things that the data that are available through GBIF can provide fundamental indicators the status and progress toward those goals. My role is to make sure that all the information in that assessment is transparent and available for readers of the assessment. So that people who want to make policy or make decisions based on the risks of climate change can find the information they need and the data they need to inform their decisions.